Hi everyone, welcome to another Tips for Toggers and today I'm going to talk about some great tips for taking landscapes. Hi everyone, Danny T here and welcome to another Tips for Toggers and today I'm going to talk about some great tips to take landscape photos. So how do you take better shots of those beautiful landscapes? out there. So as you can see, I've prepared for you a wonderful scene here. It's romantic, you know, it's got a lovely road here on a house. It's really artistic and I hope you can feel the emotion and the amazing, incredible artwork going on here that's going to really bring you into this scene. Um, so let's talk through some of the key aspects on my wonderful, wonderful landscape photo. So first of all, you're gonna need a high number aperture. So remember a high number aperture means you get more in focus. So you're gonna use a high number, something like F8, F11, not too high, not like F22, that's too high. You might find that uh, with kit lenses, you might actually start losing detail at that. But something like F11, F16, a nice high number for landscapes is gonna give you lots and lots in focus, assuming you want everything in focus there. When you do focus on your landscape, you're gonna to wanna to focus about one third into the frame. So it's tempting to focus on the thing that's nearest, so in this case it would be the tree, don't do that. Focus on the thing that's about one third into the frame because focal points have focus in front of them a little bit and mostly behind them. If you focus on something too close, you're going to lose focus as you go back. It's too close a focal point. So actually focus on something about a third of the way into the frame. Find something that's really interesting and focus on that. And when you do focus, go for a manual focus. That's the best way to rely on a very good focus there. Go for a manual focus or go into live view and focus manually through live view, but put it into manual, then you're gonna know absolutely that that thing is 100% in focus. If you can zoom into it in live view as well, just to make sure that is 100% in focus, then that's great technique as well. When you go to take the shot, put it on a tripod. If, if it's windy or busy or your shutter speed is low in any way, doing your long exposure, just generally for landscapes, Put it on a tripod. Does that mean you don't have to carry a tripod? Yes, but they make for better shots. Put it on a tripod. Make sure that tripod is steady. Don't make it a wobbly tripod. Get those legs in. Make sure everything's nice and steady. Pro tip, if you hang your camera bag off the tripod, tripods actually have a little hook built into them. And that's for hanging your camera bag off them. That gives the tripod balance and downwards um, weight, and that's going to keep your tripod better secured to the ground. Alternatively, you, you can use bags or sandbags around the feet to keep it in place. Even in rocks, if you just find rocks, just put them around the feet and make sure that that um, tripod isn't going anywhere. It's okay for just a quick shot, but if you're doing long exposure photography, the actual uh, stability of your tripod and any movement is so much more accentuated and you have to make sure that, that tripod is well secured in the spot as well. When you go to compose your landscape photo, use the rule of thirds. We talked about that, about that a few videos ago. Have a think about how you actually compose things. You put things in the frame, where you put them in the frame and how you do that. And refer to live view as well. Live view is an excellent way to actually check whether the photo is going to look good. It's funny with cameras. Sometimes you can look through the frame at uh, the viewfinder and it looks great. And then suddenly you get it home and it didn't look as good. Um, check it in live view and then you'll get a sense of exactly how it's gonna look when you actually come out to your final product. So that is it. Landscapes, easier than they are, easier than you think to actually set them up, harder to actually find a good landscape, and of course harder to get up in the mornings if you wanna create a good sunrise photo as well. Not for me, far too early, but if you do it, follow these tips, you'll get much better landscapes. That's it from me today. Don't forget to join me again tomorrow for another Tips for Toggers. If you liked this video, share and comment. If you like these videos, then share, uh, like my page and subscribe to my channel and come find me on YouTube on Danny T Photography for all of my Tips for Toggers previously as well. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you all again tomorrow for another Tips for Toggers.